Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a backwards reverse footage in Camtasia. All right, so I'm gonna start off by saying that this is a DIY hack, meaning that it's not already a built-in feature in Camtasia, and you need to create the reverse footage. And I'm gonna show you what I mean here. So I just did one right here, and this is a footage of me, uh, the shoes are really close to the camera, the heels are really close to the camera lens, and then it's just walking out, which is the normal footage, and then you're gonna see when it gets to the end, when I get to the end, it, I'm gonna start walking backwards towards the camera, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I'll just play it right here. So I'm walking out, and then I'm walking backwards, and that was the reverse of this footage. So that's normal, and then this is the reverse created in Camtasia. Now it looks pretty cool, and it is a DIY method hack, and I will say that this method takes a bit of time because you have to work frame by frame, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So here on the timeline, I have the normal footage. This is the normal footage of me walking forwards, and it's a little bit choppy right now because I had to do this, which I'll explain in a second, and it's about four seconds long, and then this choppy craziness that is uh, the reverse footage. So when you want to do a reverse footage, first of all, you need to make sure that you've got some movement happening because if you don't have any movement, then it's not gonna be really known that you went reverse. So this right here, I'm walking forwards out and then I'm walking backwards in. And it's obvious that it was a reverse footage. So once you have your test clip here like this, you need to duplicate it. So to duplicate it, there's a couple of ways. You just highlight it. You either go Control C, Control V, and then another one pops up, or you right click on it and you go copy, and then you right click on the timeline and then you go paste. So those are the two ways to copy something. Now you need two versions of it because you're going to be chopping up the second version of it. So this is the first version, which is the normal forward version, and this is gonna be chopped up into a bunch of little pieces. So in order to do this, you need to zoom in completely on your timeline. And the reason why you have to zoom in so close is because you're gonna be working frame by frame and you need to transfer each frame, and I'll show you what I mean. So this clip right here. So all you need to do is start from the beginning, and this is, this is why it takes a long time. It's because you need to chop each frame. So first you want to start at the very end. And what I do to get to each frame, because if you try and do it with the mouse, it's you might miss a frame and you need to get every frame by itself, is you want to use the keyboard shortcuts. And for me on my keyboard, it's the comma and the period key. So when I press the period key, it moves it one frame forward. If I press the comma key, it's gonna move it one frame backwards. So you want to use these along with the split tool, which I'm gonna show you in a second, to chop all this up. So you wanna press the period key, then press S, which is going to split it, basically cutting it, and then you have to click to highlight it again, and then you wanna press the period key, press S to split it, and then click on it again, press the period, press S to split it, and you wanna do this until you get the whole entire thing. I already did that and it took a while, so be prepared to spend some time doing this kind of method. It's really cool when you get it, but it does take some time. 
I'm just gonna go straight to the end and I'm gonna chop maybe like five pieces at the end to show you what happens once you've got everything. So I'm just gonna quickly chop five pieces here. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's pretend like I did the whole thing, but I've got five pieces here. Once you do that, you will be placing each frame in reverse. So right now, this whole thing, when it's chopped up, it's gonna look like this, but it's still gonna be forward. You now need to take each frame from the end and replace it to the beginning. So you're literally taking one frame, grabbing it, and bringing it to the beginning. And in this case, I put it directly against this clip right here, which is the original clip. And you want to do that for the whole thing. So that's why if you have something that's long, then it's going to take a bit. So you just want to take the end and place it. And that's what this whole thing is at the bottom. This whole thing is in reverse. And I, I basically realigned everything. So you, you just want to take that and do that. Three. Oops. You want to make sure not to mess up the order there. They might get a little bit finicky. It's getting a little finicky because these pieces are here down at the bottom. Now this is going to really work your Camtasia software, so you want to make sure that you know, you've got a bunch of things closed while you're working on it because you've got a, it's, it's using a lot of Camtasia juice. All right, so I've just done the first five and I would go and do it for this entire thing like I've done down here. Now I'm going to just delete this and leave it as is here. So this is now all in reverse. Now, the thing is when you go and try and play it, it's not going to play very well because it's going to be, you've chopped it up into like a million pieces. So it's like not going to really show it to you properly. It's going to be really glitchy. So you need to render it um, produce the video so that you can see the final version of it. So what I did is I did this whole thing and you know I was kind of playing it to see if it worked okay and it was really choppy and I'm like okay I can't see this properly let me render it first. So I rendered it out then I got this file this video file which is produced and then I clicked play and then I saw that okay it's all smooth and it's all good to go and it looks good. So that is a little DIY hack that you guys can try out in your videos. It's really cool when you get it to work and I actually learned this from another fellow YouTuber. Shout out to Camera Lady at Product Patrol. She actually did this first. I saw it in one of her videos and I asked her how to do it and she taught me how. So this is a little workaround that you can do in Camtasia until they actually build this feature out into a future version. I really hope that they do because it would be so cool to just have it already built in so that it doesn't have to take this long. But until then, you can do this DIY hack method. So if you like these kinds of videos and you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, you guys can head down to the description below because I have a 9 plus hour Camtasia course. I have a ton of tutorials in there, like 70 tutorials on all this kind of stuff, stuff that you can't find anywhere else, and you guys can get two months free access down in the description below. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.